Just look at this. I just tamed a giant beetle looking alien and now I'm milking it. Oh yeah, that's some tasty milk. With light no fire on the horizon, promising more of Hello Games' trademark ambition, we need to ask ourselves. Is No Man's Sky now in 2024, finally the game we were promised? Or is it still more like No Man's Land and No Man's Patience? Let's take a spacewalk down memory lane. When No Man's Sky first launched in 2016, it was like buying a ticket to the moon and ending up in your backyard with a sparkler. Imagine my disappointment when, instead of the epic adventures I had envisioned, I found myself trapped in an endless loop of mining space rocks and plants that looked suspiciously like green sausages. It was like expecting a thrilling space odyssey and getting stuck in a never-ending episode of Space Gardening Extreme Edition. And don't get me wrong, I like grinding in games. But if it's not offering a substantial reward, or giving me a satisfying conclusion to all the time I've put into this farming, then what's the point? I kept thinking, this is it? This is the game that was supposed to redefine the genre? It was like going to a 5-star restaurant, only to be served a plate of plain dry toast. And not even the fancy artisanal kind, just the kind that makes you question all your life choices up to that point. Expectations were sky high for the game, but it quickly became one of the most infamous. Here's a rundown of the major disappointments and what went wrong. One of the biggest issues was the gap between what was promised and what was delivered. The game's creator, Sean Murray, and Hello Games set incredibly high expectations with their ambitious vision for the game. Relaunch interviews and trailers suggested a universe filled with limitless possibilities. Multiplayer exploration, vast planetary diversity, complex ecosystems, and dynamic space battles. However, when the game released, many of these features were either missing or significantly scaled down. Then, despite hints and vague statements suggesting players could encounter one another in the vast universe, No Man's Sky launched without any real multiplayer functionality. The realization that the game was essentially a single-player experience, despite the hype around its shared universe, left a sour taste for many. Then comes the repetitive gameplay. While the procedural generation engine did create a vast number of planets, many players quickly found that these planets were not as diverse as promised. The procedural generation led to planets that, despite being technically different, often felt similar in gameplay terms. Similar resources, similar creatures, and similar environmental challenges. This repetition became monotonous, with the excitement of exploration quickly turning into a grind. The game was riddled with technical issues, from game-breaking bugs to frequent crashes. Many players struggled with performance issues, especially on PC, where the game often ran poorly even on high-end hardware. The game's stability and optimization were significant problems that further frustrated the player base. Then we have the ending. The game's ultimate goal of reaching the center of the galaxy was supposed to be a climactic moment. However, it turned out to be a massive disappointment offering a simple and underwhelming loop that restarted the game rather than providing a satisfying conclusion. This was the final blow for many players who had invested hours of gameplay, only to be met with an ending that felt like a slap in the face. By 2024, No Man's Sky has been transformed through more updates than your grandma's operating system. Seriously, Hello Games has worked so hard they probably have their own dedicated aisle in the Red Bull warehouse. The game is now bursting at the seams with content. There's base building, farming, deep sea exploration, giant mechs, living ships, exocrafts, and even the ability to own your very own fleet of starships. It's like Hello Games turned into that overachieving student who doesn't just do the homework, but also extra credit, tutors the class, and still finds time to start a band. The story of my first 10 hours in No Man's Sky began with a jarring wake up on an unknown planet. As the screen flickered to life, I found myself standing in the middle of an alien landscape, my exosuit warning of critically low levels of life support. The planet's atmosphere was harsh with toxic clouds swirling in the sky above. I was alone, my only companion a broken down ship that seemed just as battered as I felt. The first task was simple, survive. My scanner highlighted nearby resources, carbon from the strange plants, ferret dust from the rocks around me. With my multi-tool in hand, I began the process of gathering these essential materials. My goal? To repair my life support and hazard protection systems before the planet's toxic atmosphere took its toll. While gathering, I also discovered other life forms around, and they didn't seem to be hostile. Once I stabilized my suit, I turned my attention to the ship, my only means of escape from this desolate place. The wrecked vessel, a humble starship called the Radiant Pillar BC-1, was in dire need of repairs. The damage was extensive. The launch thrusters were offline, 
the pulse engine was fried, and the ship's hull was full of holes. My new objective was clear. Gather the necessary resources to get this bird back in the sky. With the game's guidance, I discovered that I needed a refiner to process the raw materials. I refined the ferrite dust into pure ferrite and crafted the launch fuel. Slowly but surely, my ship began to resemble something that might fly again. But the pulse engine required a critical component, a hermetic seal. My scanner was on the fritz, and I had to trek across the planet's surface to locate the seal. The journey was perilous, my life support systems constantly draining as I navigated the toxic terrain. Eventually, I stumbled upon a distress beacon, which directed me to a small, abandoned outpost. Inside, I found the Hermetic Seal, alongside a few scattered notes hinting at the planet's previous inhabitants. The toxic storm soon passed, and when I exited the outpost, I realized I was completely lost. I didn't know my way back to my ship. This is when I discovered I can craft add-ons to improve my multi-tool and my exosuit. The analysis visor was one of these add-ons, and it helped me identify distant points of interest, like the location of my ship. With that, I finally got back to my ship and completed the repairs. With a mixture of relief and excitement, I climbed into the cockpit and engaged the launch thrusters. The ship struggled at first, but soon it lifted off the ground, breaking free from the planet's grasp. The toxic clouds receded as I ascended into the black void of space. But my journey was far from over. As soon as I left the planet's atmosphere, my ship's systems alerted me to nearby distress signals. Curious, I set a course for the source. The signals led me to a neighboring planet where I discovered a crashed freighter. Scavenging the wreckage provided valuable resources and a glimpse into the broader mystery of the universe. The next few hours were a blur of exploration and discovery. I learned to refine more resources, craft technology, and even established a small base on a safer planet. I also discovered the space stations. These space stations are large alien spaceports able to be docked with a starship, providing a trading center, mission hub, and means to travel to habitable bases. Aside from uncharted systems, these stations can be found in every star system throughout the game, giving players a safe place to land. As I ventured further, the galaxy revealed itself to be vast and full of secrets. I encountered space anomalies, mysterious signals, and remnants of ancient civilizations. The quest to uncover the truth behind these mysteries drove me deeper into the unknown, always pushing the limits of my technology and my courage. The Space Anomaly is actually a multiplayer hub. Here you can find some of the best technologies and quests. By the end of the 10th hour, I had traveled to multiple star systems, each with its own unique challenges and wonders, fought with a nest of bug aliens that infested an outpost. I acquired new ships and new tools unlocked different terrain vehicles, and I've built multiple bases and settlements. I have become a bounty hunter for the outlaws, and I have battled sentient robotic aliens on the planets and in space. I even hatched an egg and got my first pet. But more than anything, I realized that No Man's Sky was a game about discovery. Each new planet, each new encounter, brought with it a sense of wonder and possibility. And I knew that my journey had only just begun. As a summary, No Man's Sky has transformed from a disappointing launch in 2016 to a beloved game due to consistent free updates that introduce vast new features like base building, multiplayer, expanded exploration, and story elements. The universe really feels alive and with lots of things to do. The developers at Hello Games listen to player feedback and continuously improve the game, turning it into a rich, immersive experience that now fulfills its original ambitious vision of an endless, ever-evolving universe to explore. Now the game still has the repetitive elements that some players might find tedious, like resource gathering and similar planetary environments. However, the depth and variety of activities, base building, exploration, space battles, and multiplayer adventures help balance this out, making the overall experience rewarding. The constant updates and the sheer scale of the universe ensure that there's always something new to discover, which keeps the game fresh and engaging despite its repetitive aspects. I mean, just look at this. I just tamed a giant beetle looking alien and now I'm milking it. Oh yeah, that's some tasty milk. I will continue to play the game more as I love the endless possibilities it offers, the sense of wonder and discovery, and the freedom to chart my own course. If you're interested in more insights or tips on how to get the most out of No Man's Sky, consider subscribing as I will soon drop more videos. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments.